Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back once again with the Atoms Tech A5 M50 Pro. Friends, we made a design in Google Drawings. Today, we're going to laser cut it, so let's get cracking. All right, friends, so let's start with the material. I have got 80 millimeters here, which is cool because it was a six centimeter design, so it's going to fit on there pretty sweet. About six millimeter thick. I think it's pine, but I'm not sure. So we are going to test some settings and see if we can make a cute ornament. We're in Lightburn and I'm going to choose File, Import. If we look in my 3D modeling folder, there is my ornament that we created using Google Drawings. Let's zoom in on this and see what we've got here. The first thing I want to do is get rid of this one called a clip path. Let's see if it's the image. I'm going to shut off the show that's not it let's shut off the line that's not it let's shut off this fill that's not it let's shut off this line that's not it and of course the one at the top was the one I was aiming for that's kind of funny so real quickly let's see what happens if I choose arrange and let's do ungroup and now when I look at them, it doesn't appear that there are going to be those lines there. I was freaking out that the square line was going to be around it. Now I don't believe it is because I ungrouped it. So let's choose my settings. I'm going to come out here to number 15. I am not going to use 6,000. Instead, I'm going to use 600. I do like the 20% power, and I am going to do an interval of 0.1 millimeters. I'm going to click on this one, and I'm going to set it to number 15 as well. Let's go to my cuts. Now to cut through this wood, right now it's doing 300 at 100% and two passes. I'm gonna change that to 250 and I'm gonna do six passes because sometimes I've had trouble cutting through this pine. Now I'm gonna go down to my letters. I do like the fill, but I'm gonna change that to 600 and I'm gonna have it do one pass and I'm only going to have it do 30% for the power. And then finally, if we check the one with the line, that'll be on the outside edge of those letters, I believe. And we're going to set that for 500. And I'm going to do 30% power and one pass. So friends, it is guess and check. I am going to make sure this top one does not have the output. And I'm actually going to shut off the show on that as well. So now it will not happen and it does not show up on the screen. Let's power up the laser. I'm going to have to raise this up to get it on top of that wood. Don't forget, I work out here so that you guys get a better view with the camera. You can do your cutting anywhere you want. I'm going to do that shift nudge to move it out there. We are connected to the Atom Stack A5. Don't forget if you have multiple lasers, always double check and make sure you got the right one. Let's lower it down. Remember, I absolutely love that it has that single knob for tightening and adjusting. Makes it super fast. Lock that in place. I don't like that it's bumping those front edges. Let's try that one more time. Still bumping the front edge. Alright, that I like. I'm going to get this at the bottom left hand corner and just moving that into place. Friends, let's real quickly hit frame. So that's staying on the wood. I'm going to come back a little bit left. Let's see if we can go two and one down. Try frame one more time. That stayed on the wood. Not so much on the left. Do a control nudge. <laughs> K 
can't cut it any closer than that. I'm going to do control nudge one over. Just because. And friends, it is time to grab some goggles. I'm going to power up the awesome fan. So prepare for some noise. And let's get cut. Let's shut off the laser so that we can hear a little better as we check out our design. There you can see. Oh, it almost cut through. So it did not cut through and that was my fault because I saw how easy this was to cut and I jumped it up to 130% of my normal settings instead of the other ones. So I'm gonna cut that out. I do like what it did with the Merry Christmas 22, and I also like the settings here. I did also bump these up to 200% just because I saw that it was taking almost 20 minutes, and I wanted to see it be a little faster. Now this is one of the things when you're messing with wood that you don't really know, the guess and check of your settings will have you adjusting them all the time. Alrighty friends, so I was able to get that to pop out uh, and even though it wasn't quite 100% perfect, it was so darn close. A uh, little trick I used, popped this in a few of those spots just so I could get it. And friends, there you have an SVG file created on Google Drawings and a cute little holiday ornament. Alright friends, so let's do a quick recheck. There will be a tutorial to the Google Drawings project. It is a fun and fantastic way to make things using a Chromebook or any other device that can get to your Google Apps. Then of course you got to see how it worked with the Atomstack A5 M50 Pro, which I think was pretty darn awesome. Of course, if you want more information about the laser, there will be links down below. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of of course, you also totally make my day if you leave a comment. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.